Hey guys, it's Darryl with East Woodland Survival. I'm up at Martin Station at the Wilderness Road State Park in Virginia, and we're going to kind of look around today, just kind of look at some of the, uh, the buildings and look at the actual station house and kind of tour around and see what's going on here. So stay with me. This exhibit before you is a representation of the Treaty of Sycamore Shoals. In the autumn of 1774, Judge Richard Henderson formed the Transylvania Company. Henderson wished to purchase a vast tract of western wilderness lands from the Cherokees and establish a 14th proprietary colony. On the eve of the American Revolution, in March of 1775, Henderson met with more than 1,200 Cherokees at Sycamore Shoals, near present-day Elizabethan in Tennessee. Henderson proposed to purchase all the lands lying between the Cumberland River, the Cumberland Mountains, and the Kentucky River. Dragon Canoe, the fiery warrior, protested the purchase treaty in anger. All Indian nations have melted away, the snow and the sun before the white man's advance. We had hoped that the white man would not be willing to travel beyond the mountains. Now that hope is gone. Such treaties may be well for men who are too old to hunt or fight. As for me, I have my young warriors about me. We will hold our land. In spite of Dragon Canoe's opposition, the Cherokee chiefs agreed to the massive land deal. Henderson employed Daniel Boone to cut a road from the Long Island of Holston River to the bluegrass region of the Kentucky country. It is said that before leaving to cut the trace, Boone was taken aside by one of the Cherokee chieftains with whom he had been familiar and told. Brother, we have sold you a fine land, but you will have much trouble in settling it. I have seen a dark cloud over that country. With those words perhaps ringing in his ears, Boone began to cut what we now call the Wilderness Road, a pathway that would change the course of history. Some of the things I've got in the gift shop here. 